Hi guys, so as you can tell by the insane amount of natural lighting, I'm still in California. I was supposed to be back in Canada by now, but things happen and I'm going to discuss this, but first, childhood room! Woo! Okay, now that that's done. Before I got my tonsillectomy, everyone kept telling me these stories of these fond memories of when they got their tonsils out when they were a child. I was told that I would love eating ice cream for everything, for every meal, just eating ice cream. Well, after I got my tonsils out and was having a bit troubling and not wanting to eat any ice cream, I started hearing all these stories of people who had gotten their tonsils out as adults, and how that was a little less than satisfying. Turns out, when you try to pull things out of your throat when you are older, and they are bigger, it doesn't go as well. I didn't want to eat ice cream at all. I think I finally, a week later, ate some sherbet last night. I was very dehydrated, and all I wanted was water-based things, if I could swallow them. I had to take very little swallows that were very painful, so not very productive. Um, I did have ices, but then they were too sugary and I was like not wanting sugary things. Also anything with dairy would coat my throat. <laughs> <coughs> That's one of the reasons why it's taking me longer to heal. Um, dairy would coat my throat and then I would spend like, the next hour trying to get that coating off because it wasn't very comfortable and kind of sore. I also got a cough <laughs> while recovering, which when you're in extreme pain, is so much fun. But yesterday, the doctor gave me what I'm now calling the miracle shot because, like, five hours later, I was woken up from a nap at lunchtime and my mom said, she thought I was high because <laughs> I was so happy, but I was so happy because I wasn't in extreme pain and actually felt like eating. So I ate Panera mac and cheese and like had a moment. I'm also on steroids, so bulking up. Uh, lastly, I've discovered how supermodels diet. I ate less than 200 calories for about a week because I just couldn't eat just tried drinking fluids. Um, and now I can't eat. I'm still quite sore if you can hear my voice. But I don't really crave rich foods and like I can't eat that much because I just get full super fast. So I get I get how they do it. But I don't think I really want to stick on this plan. I miss food. But I don't really want to eat it right now because it sounds painful and I don't think my stomach will like it. Anyways, that's an update. By next vlog, I should be back in Canada because I have work to do. There's this thing called grad school that I've been neglecting for maybe a little too long. Mm, life problems. Bye!